Hi everyone. So in this video, I am continuing the derivation I have started in the previous video. That is propagation of TM waves in the rectangular wave grid. So we have taken EZ equation because it is a TM wave. EZ is existed. HZ is equal to 0. So EZ we have assumed it as a product of two separate variables X into Y. We have written what is X and what is Y finally. Uh, <coughs> Like x is equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx and similarly y is equal to c3 cos ay plus c4 sin ay. Now finally we have obtained this equation ez is equal to a product of <coughs> two functions like in terms of x and in terms of y. Now in order to simplify this we should know the four constants c1, c2, c3 and c4. So these four constants are obtained by the uh, method using boundary conditions. Okay, now I will explain what are the different boundary conditions and how to obtain these four constants. So consider this rectangular waveguide because uh, the diagram from that diagram only we will be writing the boundary conditions x and here it is y. This is breadth A, <coughs> this is width B, okay, and here it is a rectangular waveguide. Now, how many boundaries that are existed for this rectangular waveguide? Normally four boundaries, okay. This is the bottom and this is top. These are two boundaries and again here it is one boundary, here it is one boundary. So totally how many? There are four boundaries existed. So if you take equations for four boundary conditions, four different uh, <coughs> unknown parameters C1, C2, C3, C4 can be obtained, okay. And remember one point, the electric field component Ej is equal to 0 along the boundary. Okay, that uh, with that statement, we are going to start these boundary conditions. Boundary conditions. <coughs> boundary conditions. The electric field... electric field which electric field ez ez electric field e in the direction of propagation of z okay electric field existed in the direction of propagation only z okay electric field ez is equal to 0 along the boundaries okay along the boundaries it is 0 So, we can write first boundary condition, first boundary condition Ez is equal to 0, Ez is equal to 0. What is the first boundary? I am taking this as the first boundary, okay. This one is the first boundary. This is the second boundary and this is the third boundary and this is the fourth boundary. I am taking in this order 1, 2, 3, 4 in the clockwise direction. <coughs> so Ez is equal to 0 along the first boundary. What is the first boundary? First boundary is existed from this value is 0, 0 to up to this one A. Okay, so y is equal to 0 ez is equal to 0 for y is equal to 0 or you can write at at y is equal to 0 for all x varies from 0 to a <coughs> see here this is the 0 point 0 to a that is the variation with respect to x and what about the y y is equal to 0 on x axis okay so ez is equal to 0, yet y equal to 0 for all x varies from 0 to a. Okay. 
now just you can substitute this ez is equal to 0 and what are the x and y values in the equation number 1 what is the equation number 1 this one see finally whatever the boundary condition we have taken that he needs to be submitted in this equation ez is equal to something so ez equal to 0 means 0 is equal to 0 is equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx keep it like that and next c3 cos a y what is the value of y here x is varying from 0 to a so you no need to substitute what is the value of x because x is a variable it's not a constant but what about y y is constant that is 0 along the x-axis y is equal to 0 along the first boundary y equal to 0 so you can substitute simply a into 0 a y plus c4 sin b y b into 0 that is equal to uh, cos 0 plus it is c4 into sin 0 sin 0 0 so this factor gone and c3 cos 0 1 so it is c3 c3 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx that is equal to 0. Now see two products uh, that means two variables product is equal to 0. How we can write uh, I will explain here. Let a uh, something uh, p into q is equal to 0 that means either p equal to 0 or q equal to 0 no need to be no need to both the products should be 0 both the value should be 0 either p equal to 0 or q equal to 0 okay so with this idea we can write either c3 equal to 0 or this entire comes entire value equal to 0 but this entire value is not equal to 0 because it's a variable cos is having a variable value of x and sin is having a variable value of x so definitely <coughs> therefore c3 is equal to 0 and c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx is not equal to 0 because it's a, a having a variable value of x inside therefore finally we have got one of the four uh, constants c3 is equal to 0 substitute the c3 in that equation 1 so that equation 1 will be reduced to some other value like therefore <coughs> ez now from after the first boundary condition ez is equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx into c3 is equal to 0 only c4 left c4 sin ay now this is the latest equation take this as 2 see whichever is the latest equation take that equation and again substitute next boundary condition ok now let us move on to the second boundary condition second boundary second boundary condition so in the second boundary condition second boundary condition refers to what this one from here to here okay uh, from here to here i will draw here again second boundary condition this is x and this is y which is the second boundary this one from where to where it is varying 0 to b the second boundary is varying from 0 to b and what is the value of x on this boundary x is equal to 0 what is the value of y y is varying from 0 to b so from the second boundary condition we can write the electric field component ez is equal to 0 
at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 for all for all y varies from y varies from 0 to b <coughs> hope you understand now okay now again take that latest equation second equation and substitute ez value and these boundary conditions from equation 2 from equation 2 0 is equal to what is that equation see here this is the latest equation from the first boundary condition ez is equal to this one c1 something c1 cos c1 cos bx b into now x is fixed value y is variable value so substitute b into 0 plus c2 sin bx b into 0 okay and c4 sin ay sin ay you know need to substitute a y y because y is variable now so that is equal to cos 0 1 c 1 plus and here it is sin 0 0 now c 4 sin a y that is equal to 0 is equal to c 1 c 4 sin a y now which one needs to be 0 c1 equal to 0 because c4 this factor c4 into a sin a y will not be equal to 0 because a, here y is a variable so therefore from this product c1 is equal to 0 and c4 sin a y is not equal to 0 okay now substitute this c1 is equal to 0 in that equation 2 so what happens finally now ez is equal to c2 sin bx c4 sin ay okay this is the final equation we have got after two boundary conditions okay take this as equation number 3 See what we are doing, we are calculating the, we are taking the boundary condition, substituting in the latest equation and getting the value of that constant. So whichever the constant we have obtained, that will be eliminated from the equation. So Ez is equal to, finally we have got this one C2, sin Bx C4 sin Ay. Now, three more, uh, two more boundary conditions left third boundary condition and fourth boundary condition after simplification of third one fourth boundary conditions you will be having the final ez equation okay coming to third boundary condition third boundary condition What is the third boundary here in the rectangular wave guide? This is the x, this is y, now this is the third boundary, okay, third boundary, third boundary varies from 0 to a, x is varying from 0 to a and what about the y? y is now b not 0 okay so ez is equal to 0 along that boundary ez is equal to 0 for y at y is equal to b for all x varies from x varies from 0 to a okay writing boundary conditions is very important if you able to write this equation then you can simply just substitute in the latest equation so from equation what is that latest equation 3 from equation 3 substitute that condition ez is equal to 0 0 is equal to uh, c2 sin b x is a variable so leave it leave it as it is 
C4 sin A into Y. A, Y is nothing but now it is B. Okay. So, now by equating this to 0, which is 0 and which is not 0, this factor and this factor, two factors are there, is equal to 0. Here C2 sin Bx is not equal to 0 because it is a variable. C4 sin AB is equal to 0. So, sin AB is equal to 0. Make C4 is equal to 0. So, sin AB is equal to 0. How we can write sin AB is equal to 0 means AB means it may be n into pi. So, we can write AB is equal to n into pi because the sin pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and so on it is 0 for pi. So, A is equal to n pi by b. A is equal to n pi by b. Now, we have obtained what is A. Okay, we have assumed something like 1 by y into dou square y by dou x square is equal to minus a square. Okay, there we don't know what is a. Now, we have got the equation for a. a is equal to n pi by b. Now, substitute this a is equal to n pi by b in the latest equation number 3. Therefore, ez is equal to c2 sin bx c4 sin n pi by b into y. This is what the latest equation after third boundary condition. Okay. So, next one is fourth boundary condition. I will explain fourth boundary condition and simplification further in the next video. Thank you.